When your patient is ready to come off of Pumani treatment, you will first remove the prongs from the patient's nostrils and you can completely remove the hat. And then you will turn off the unit. And if the patient still needs respiratory support, you can place them on the oxygen therapy or just regular room air. Um, and then you will take apart the tubing so you can attach the patient tubing, detach the bottle tubing, and the bottle. And then you will take apart the nasal prongs. and the end cap and remove the hat clips from the hat. So the hat clips are designed to be reused and you can clean and reuse them. The hats typically stretch out when they're on a baby and so you would need to throw out the hat and start with a new hat for each patient. The end cap can be cleaned and reused. The prongs are labeled as single use only and are typically used for only one patient, however, you may choose to clean them on your own. You can clean and reuse the bottle, and clean and reuse the bottle tubing. The patient tubing is also labeled as single-use only, however, you may choose to clean this and reuse this as well. Any of the components that you are going to clean and reuse, you can soak in a 0.5% bleach solution for 10 minutes, rinse in clean water, and then lay out and dry the components before placing it on another patient. You empty the, 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 the bottle. The tubes and the bottle all need to be soaked in chlorine 0.5. Make sure to immerse the bottle so it doesn't just float on the surface. I'm releasing my bottle. The tubes need to be soaked for 10 minutes in the chlorine solution. After leaving for 10 minutes, you need to take everything to a tap. It needs to be rinsed thoroughly to get rid of the chlorine. Make sure there's some water going around the tube. Okay. Make sure you run water through the middle of the tubes. This is to make sure that the, the water runs all over the tube. As you can see there, this water can... So I'm hanging my tube there to let it dry. Leave the other pads out to dry before storing in the CPAP cabinet. <laughs> 